person is a happy person. And uh, Glenn, Glenn, uh, <laughs> how, how are you feeling tonight, Glenn? Good. Had a nap before the show and I'm feeling relaxed. I'm good. You're feeling good? Yeah. I heard you were not feeling good. Um, yeah. 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 I heard you have an inflamed appendix. <laughs> and uh, you didn't tell me this, but you no. told... Uh, Chris no. Brown, our head writer on the show, you told him that you had an inflamed appendix. Yes. And you told uh, Chris that you didn't really want to do anything too physical tonight on the show. You can see, you can see I how it's got an inflamed appendix. I, I do. I do. I don't want, I, I do. don't want you to hurt my appendix. <laughs> Since when do you get a say in what we do? <laughs> it's an exception. Glenn has a sore tum tum, sore tummy, and uh, and he's being a bit of a prima donna. He's being, I'm not. I'm not. He's being I'm a bit not. of a prima donna, and so what we figured, why don't you put this on, this hospital gown, go put this on. <laughs> and why don't you, why don't, since you have, since you have such a sore tummy, why don't you go back and sit where Phil normally sits, and Phil, why don't you come out and be the co-host tonight? <laughs> hey, who wants, who wants Phil to co-host? What do you say we have Phil coming out here? When we come back, my new co-host, Phil Giroux. First, let's go make a new friend. Huh? Hey, I'm a priest. I like having fun. Oh, sorry about that. You want to tell us what you're doing here? What's that? Oh, I'm just a uh, uh, scout here to... Okay. Trying to... Look. I don't know what you're doing here, but this, you isn't, this isn't gonna work. Stay over there. I just thought if you want three on your side, no, I can really don't. We'd like you to stay over there. Okay. I don't know if you're authorized to be here, but Do you guys mind if I play on their team or we can go call the security. I don't know who you guys are. laugh all the time. Um, I've known Phil since I was about 14 years old, but when, when we were 14, you didn't do that laugh. I laughed, but not like this. Because <laughs> you kind of went uh, around, around 18, you got a job working in computers yeah. at a science lab. Yeah, and then from that point on. You went a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> was there fumes in the building or something? Fumes and white lab coats. <laughs> Initially, you started doing the laugh, and then about six months ago, you actually started doing a, sort of a a recharge thing. Listen, uh. there. Yeah. Yeah. That's the new part of the laugh. Uh. Initially, it was just th this, and now, uh. yeah. The, uh, uh. Yeah. Oh wow, that was a double recharge. Double, yeah, sometimes. Uh. Uh. I think we're going to just go look at a segment. What? We're in Nashville, Tennessee, and we're gonna do some observational humor. Come on. I'm on a date with my wife. I'm on a date with my wife in Nashville. Walking down the street on a date with my wife. On a date with my wife in Nashville. I have some tasty fast food and my arm is around my girlfriend. I have some tasty fast food and my arm There's a kid on my shoulder! There's a kid on my shoulder! There's a kid! There's a kid! There's a kid! There's a kid! You're waiting for the light to change! You're waiting! You got a rain bonnet on! You got a rain bonnet on! I'm wearing orange and I bought an orange soda pop. I'm gonna Drop! Drop! 
mind having a little sleep? A little rest. Wait oh. for people in the oh, car. Okay. Pleased to meet you. Nice meeting you, too. <laughs> <laughs> We won't stop the spanking until you beg us. Please stop the spanking. Spanking New Music Week will not relent with searing nightly concerts on Spanking Live Music with Rage Against the Machine on Friday and the Red Hot Chili Peppers tonight at 11. And Spanking Live Music continues with Metallica on Saturday and Beck on Sunday. Not, that's Graceland right there, former home of Elvis Presley. These gates, however, were not allowed to pass through. Unfortunately, the staff at Graceland are not letting me on the property today, but we still do want to pay homage to the man. Excuse me, sir. Can I just talk to you for a minute? Hello. Can I just talk to you for one minute? What's going on? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm wondering if you could tell me which shirt you like better. Heard about in the morning, not a day, five times a week. <laughs> Go, 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 Johnny, Johnny. Elvis, stop. I know how to read now. Come on, what's that, what's that for you? What's that for you? And that's Elvis Costello we're talking about. People come here from all around the world to write, we love you, Elvis. That's not really vandalism, is it? I can hear that. Sit, be it alone. Slick it back, slick it back. Slick it back, slick, slick, slick it back. You can't do that on the fire. You don't have to cut that off. What's that? You don't have to cut that off. No. No, get off my blues, they do now. Up above, yonder, down a hill again, round the corner, up around the bay, over the mountain. Okay. Okay. I think we're allowed to film on the sidewalk. Pour the car! Tape, 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 tape. Thank you. We've got a police officer coming now. You know, we just want to talk about all this mess. I don't want to cause problems, we just want to pay homage to the king. <laughs> fun being friends with you, Phil. Oh, it's fun being friends with you, too. Yeah. Phil has a lot of weird eccentricities. <laughs> I mean, everyone has a few. I play with my hair a lot. Yeah, yeah. I always do that. Yeah. Glenn, Glenn, of course, is addicted to oh, pornography. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Phil is actually losing his mind uh, to, to a point. For instance, you won't talk on a payphone, right? Talk into this. Oh. Talk into that. Oh, it's all he, greasy? Uh, greasy payphones? <laughs> full of Phil doesn't talk into payphones uh, because he's worried about the grease. You're, you're worried about the grease, right? There's like lard in here. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing is, when Phil was a kid, his older brother used to punch him in the oh, nose all God. the time. <laughs> so Phil actually has this phobia where you can't touch oh. his nose. And actually, if you touch, oh, no. if you touch his nose, he no, does no. this. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, touch oh, it. No, let me touch it. Let me touch no, it. Let me touch it. Let me just touch it. No, no, no. Oh, no, come oh, on. Big oh, deal. Oh. Come on. Stop that. Stop that. Oh, just oh, let me touch it. Stop oh, acting. Oh. See? Oh. oh. See? It's, uh, I don't know why. It's just a thing I do. So. Oh. <laughs> what the f are we doing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what kind of show is this? <laughs> school for this, you know? <laughs> See, we only have 20 minutes of tape in our camera, but it doesn't matter because we have some peanut butter and we have a cell phone. Hi, uh, Mrs. Clifford. Hi, this is Tom Green calling. Uh, just so you know, I put some peanut butter on your blue trailer out in front of your house. Here comes Mrs. Clifford now. We only have 20 minutes of tape left in our camera, yeah. okay? And we have to make something wacky and, and hilarious happen. Okay. So you spread the peanut butter on the trailer, okay? No. We, we gotta make the show funny. Okay, go. Go. Spread the peanut butter. No, I don't want to spread the peanut butter What's on that? It. I don't know what TV station you're talking about. I don't know what you're advertising. We're from the television. Goodbye. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. No, can we just put the peanut butter on it? No. Oh? And clean that peanut butter up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> that works, right? That's funny. So you're holding me up. So thank you very much. Oh, the cat on the cat. There you go. Good luck, Rebel. Rebel. There we go. Little peanut butter and Rebel. There. There's some peanut. Okay, now the doggy, get it off. Oh, jeez, Rebel, Rebel, hit the. Oh, Rebel, hit the doggy. Get the peanut butter off of Rebel. Off. Get the peanut butter. Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. Thank you. Come on, Riley. Okay. We had a lot of fun, right? Yes. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. It was funny when the dog jumped up. He was like. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Mrs. Clifford. <laughs> Mrs. Clifford, thank you. <laughs> Is there any tape left? Let's get out of here. So, uh, so we're getting no fill. You know, you know you're not normal, right? Um, none of us are normal. None of our friends are normal. <laughs> but you've accepted, though, that you're going a little crazy? Also. Yeah. <laughs> I have something I want to do to prove how crazy you're going to yourself, okay? For instance. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. These are pennies. I, 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 I don't like the way copper smells. And it's, um... I don't know why, it gives, it gives me a headache when I touch copper. People use these things to pay for things, okay? I don't, I don't like copper. I, you know I don't like copper. I don't like copper. I don't like copper. I don't, it's got, it's it, like, you it's You used no, to be normal, man. Huh? No, I never liked copper. Like in never. high school, no, we'd go no, skateboarding. No. You would I, touch pennies. No, I would not, not really, not really. I you mean, weren't afraid of them. Just mm. touch them. One penny. Hmm. <laughs> Just take one penny, okay? <laughs> I just, just hold a few in your hand. No. <laughs> I, um, yeah, yeah, um, oh, wait, seriously, seriously, like, <laughs> totally. <laughs> I don't see why you're freaking out. I just, um, nothing, nothing to be afraid of. I, uh, you know? Dirty. They're just pennies. Dirty. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're just pennies. They're just pennies. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. There's no way you can climb up that tree. Yeah, man. That's no problem. I love, I love that. I'll make you a deal. Okay. But not on Kim. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'll turn the camera off. So, um, well, what you saying? What you got? Yeah, my T-shirt. A T-shirt, that? Yeah. There's no way you can, you can get me to climb up that tree for a T-shirt. I'll climb for you for 20 bucks. And I'll drop a coconut down here, and you gotta catch it. Yeah, but not my head, though. Oh. Careful. Don't fall. You gonna catch a coconut? Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Bleeding from high velocity coconut in hand. He told me to try and catch it. Try and catch it? Yeah. He told you to try and catch it? Yeah. I think See, it was cool, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be playing a little joke on me. All right. Yeah, you play a little joke on you. Little joke. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> You'll survive it. I do that for people sometimes. Coming up next on the 10 spot, a new spanking. We've got to stop the armies from taking the frozen foods. The army's coming, and they're going to take all the frozen foods. Follow me, quick. We've got to build a wall. The army's going to be coming down here, and we've got to stop them. We've got to build a wall. We've got to build a wall. <laughs> oh, no. If the army gets to the frozen food section, we're all going to die. Here comes the army. Out of my store. It is the army's coming. I don't care. Out of my store. You've got to start. It's aisle nine. Out of my store now, or I'll call the police. Shut the camera off. Now. All right. Out of my store. I just, just heard that there was an army coming. A uh, Russian army was coming down aisle nine. Oh, man. Get out of here. We have to stop. Get out of my store. I just had to build a wall to stop them from coming, but... Yeah, I'll build a wall around you. Behind bars. Get out. 
We didn't want to cause problems. We want to save the day. We want to stop. Well, just them. shut your mouth and get out of the store. You're both a couple of nuts. Get out of my store. Don't want... come back. Because you come back, it's criminal trespass. Okay. Now get off my property. Okay, we're sorry. Let's go, Matt. Oh. I just wanted to save the day. Uh, welcome back. I'm here with Phil Giroux. That's Giroux spelt um, Guy Rocks. Guy... <laughs> Phil Guy Rocks. Phil. Phil uh, Guy Rocks right there. That's a uh, French Canadian. That's a uh, French Canadian name, right? Definitely. Yeah, Phil eats uh, poutine. Oh, actually. definitely. Def Phil eats poutine. That's French fries <laughs> with cheese and gravy, for those of you who don't know what poutine is. Oh, yeah. Phil usually just laughs in the window. Uh, but once mm. you actually give Phil the chance to talk, he does have a lot of strong opinions, don't you, Phil? Oh, yeah, definitely. What? <laughs> the other day, Phil and Glenn got in a big argument over which would win in a fight, a bear or a cougar, and Phil thinks the cougar would win, oh, right? definitely yeah. would kick the A bear would totally ass. kick his ass. For sure, for sure, definitely. I don't think Phil quite selling it right now. It's just the past. It'll sell itself. Yeah. It'll sell itself. <laughs> My friends will argue Phil. about this pointless kind of Quart. crap. And a bear would totally win. We hang out and they talk about this crap, and we actually started to tape a bit of it. A bear would destroy a cougar. Few have said that, you know, the bear would, would kill a cougar, but most people say Ooh. that a cougar. You? I don't have names in my wallet. A Boeing 747 is a lot more powerful than an F-18. Faster, lighter, sharper. And That's nothing to do with and planes. It is, is, we talk about It's an analogy. It's an analogy. We use analogies all the time when we speak about things. It's the most stupid thing I've ever heard. Okay, what's your position? Are we talking brown bears or black talking bears? talking black. No, point by point. Point by point, because that's the only way we can solve this. A cougar is way faster than a black bear. Check mark. Okay, wait a minute. You can argue that with me. The argument is not which one is faster. It started a with. It was not. A pattern here. It was not. There's a, a pattern. But who would fight and win? The instinct for seeking its prey and taking a strike with its scissor sharp claws and, just <laughs> and biting into the bear's neck and just no. God, one no. bite? No. Over. All Looking I'm at saying, the cougar. All I'm and they jump on top of each other and they battle it out. Cougar would no, already no be a bear's neck or with its no teeth. A cougar weighs what? Up to 145. 150, 145 150. pounds. And a bear? 500 maybe. There you go. Yeah. Wait, how much is an oil tanker? An oil tanker. An oil tanker. Here we go again. a heat-seeking missile? They're machines, Phil. They are They're not machines. animals. Each machine has its strengths and advantages. Use the right tool for the right job. The cougar <laughs> is a killing tool. Knives. It's about knives. The bear wins. A bear has crazy claws. A cougar has crazy, crazy ist claws. <laughs> claws. No, they're not. They're yes, not. They're I'm they're not they're giving they're you that at all. Time, time to race. race. Hmm. Time to race. <laughs> um, Phil, before we end the show, I mm -hmm. think the fans would like to know a little bit more about you. Okay. Things about you, personal sure. things. Sure. Let's start with, where do you work? <laughs> oh, Tom. <clears throat> No. What? I um. I work on the show. Yeah. And then I. But I, you have another job. You have a full-time job. Where is it? You work. Yeah. It's computers. Is something down the. Oh no. no. <laughs> See, Phil works at a really important computer job. Uh. He's, he's embarrassed Tom that man. he's on this silly show because what people might think it is important uh. job uh, might think of you. <laughs> What's the big deal? Well, you, you know what the big deal would be. What? <laughs> Is it? Huh? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Come on, Phil. Come on. Oh. Just tell me. No, 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 no. Phil, you tell me? <laughs> I'm not going to give it away if you don't want to say it. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, well. That's it for the show. That's it for the show. I guess we won. Glenn works for the phone company. <laughs> uh, I won't do it. Okay. That's it for the show. Thanks. Thanks. Good night. Thanks, Phil. <laughs> Today, Phil and I are going to be bringing you a clever twist on observational humor.
things that like people. Just telling people that they suck. You suck. That was a lot of fun. <laughs>